Hundreds of people are expected to turn out for the third annual Walk for Valley Fever on Saturday. 23 ABC's Mark Christian tells about one family whose lives have been impacted by this disease while they continue to pray for a cure. I don't believe that there's enough awareness. 27 year old Shane Hoover was diagnosed with the disease four years ago. Life is good, you know, and you don't realize how good it is until you have to be so strong to live it. Since the beginning, he's had many ups and downs while suffering from severe complications. It's just sad because you never think that a 27 year old son could be so debilitated so quickly over just breathing the wrong air that day. However, the disease has given him a whole new perspective on life. I don't take any day for granted fighting uh, this valley fever. I wake up and I thank God that I have another day. Valley fever has struck the family twice. Hoover's grandmother died from complications of the disease in 2002. You think when it happens to you once in a lifetime that, that that's it, that for some reason you don't ever, in my, the last thing in my mind ever was that it was going to affect one of my children. Right now, Hoover is disabled because of the disease. He's unable to work and takes over a dozen medications just to survive. For a long time, I thought it was all going to wear me out being on all this medication, and now I'm going to choke all these pills down every day, you know, and it's simply because I want to live. The family says there's a promising trial drug on the horizon, but funding is key, and that's why they say the walk is so important. Fund Valley Fever Awareness, fund the Nicomycin Z, and potential life-saving medication. Mark Christian, 23, ABC. And that walk is scheduled for Saturday at Pioneer Village at the Kern County Museum. For complete details, just go to our website, turn to 23.com.